All right, so we're gonna set the valves on a three cylinder. Gets kind of confusing. Uh, I don't wanna say straight across the board that the firing order is one, two, three, because somebody's gonna say that's not the right way to do it. So a sure bet way to know that you've got it right is to get your cylinders rocking uh, or your rockers rocking. That means that the stroke is in between the exhaust and the intake. Make a mark on your front pulley and with a sharpie, label it one, two, or three. Right now, number three is rocking, so I can put a number three somewhere on the pulley. Um, we luckily have a pointer, so that'll help us out. And then rotate it 360 degrees. Then you know that you are on top that center of compression. You can set the valves. And then just keep moving until you see number two rocking. Make a mark on your pulley like a number two. Rotate it a full 360 degrees. Those ones are good to go. Um, and then the same for number one. Uh, if it's down at all, if there's tension on it, then either your valves are way off or you're doing it wrong. You should have a little bit of rocking motion back and forth. And that's the gap that you set with the feeler gauge. Hope that helps. Nice and quick. Very simple. That will work for any four-stroke engine. Get them rocking. Turn to 360 degrees. Set your valves. Here we go. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You guys are watching. You're watching. What? The boss garage. <laughs> Subscribe.